Cry Dude here with some Hex TCG, and let's continue our Frostring Arena video from last time. We're playing the Avenging Angel, whose passive ability is at the start of your turn, at the start of the game, rather. Four random troops in each champion's deck get when you draw this play it for free, and whose champion ability is five cost, create an angel, not really relevant in this matchup. We're going second, and this hand has a good amount of resources, but it has no one mana creatures, so I'm going to draw again. Hoping for Ridge Raider, Savage Raider, Kindling Scarn, but wanting a at least one resource. So let's draw again. And this is it's fine. Um, we're going second. And it's like a fifty I think it's like a fifty three percent chance that we draw a resource or something. And okay, so again, it the guy doesn't play turn one. I don't know what that's about. Uh, we'll just play a Ridge Raider. Turn one. If we draw a resource next turn, we can Crimson Clarity, Fierce Warlord, and Ridge Raider, which would get us two three threes and a two one on the board on turn two, which is pretty good. If we don't draw a resource, we're just playing Ridge Raider and swing in for two which I guess isn't the worst thing, but I don't know what's up with these champions not playing turn one. Um, it happened last time, and it, it's happening again. Drops a diamond shard turn one and looks like doing nothing else. Oh no, uh, scroll crap is coming. Okay, so he's gaining life, which is not good. Hopefully we draw a resource. draw. Okay, suppress the fire. Not the greatest, but I guess not the worst either. So I got two two twos. Swinging in, hopefully he blocks, but probably won't. Bring him down to 19 health. Hopefully he has no turn two creatures. Hopefully he doesn't have, um, I think it's the Righteous Paladin. That's the 2-2 two, two for two that gains plus one, plus one for each health that he gains. So that'd be pretty bad. Drops another Diamond Shard and plays a Living Totem with the equipment that gives it all the Living Totems are affected, which I guess is fairly relevant. And probably won't attack since I have a 2 2 over blocking. Let's see if we draw a resource here. And we just draw another Ridge Raider. Okay. I'm going to attack with everything here. I don't think he will block. Um, he might block with the Living Totem. But. I'll probably just save it for pumping up later. And he doesn't block. Okay, send him down to 16. If we get a, a Ruby Shard next turn, then we can Crimson Clarity play the Fierce Warlord, suppress the fire. We can deal 9 damage to him, and then next turn we can also suppress the fire. So not in a terrible position, um, unless he gets just a bunch of stuff. Uh, Protector at Defender, 2-1. Um, it gets the Socket of Powers, and it's when it deals damage, it gets plus one, plus one, which is like, meh. If it's dealing damage, then it's attacking us, and then if it's attacking us, it's exhausted, so it's not that great for him. He'll attack with nothing. Um, really, the the biggest impact of the Protector Defender is probably that gains life from Scrooge. Let's hope we draw a resource here. And it's just another suppressive fire. Okay, so just make two things not be able to block, I guess. Hey, surprisingly, after getting only one resource, we're still kind of in the game here. We do have three suppressive fires, and we're swinging for six on turn. So, send him down to 11. And let's 
see what he drops next turn. We could be only two attacks off of lethal if he only plays one creature and you know none the next turn. Drops another diamond shard. And let's see if he attacks with the defender. Okay, he attacks with everything, which I think is okay. He's only dealing five, so it's not like he's gonna kill me. Okay, let's see what he does. Unfortunately, wait, does this put into play? It puts it into his hand. Um, okay, so everything gains it. Hope Heart Unicorn. Uh, that's fine. If we get another Ruby Shard, we're fine. But we're not getting it. Probably have to use another Suppressive Fire here. And we get Savage Raider. Which is not great, considering we can only play one card. So let's just Suppressive Fire. And... Wait, how much damage can he deal? He can deal... 8, 11 damage next turn if he attacks with everything. Um... I think we'll have to take that chance. And then we deal six. If he attacks with everything and we draw like a burn, I think we win. If we draw a ruby resource, then we can Crimson Clarity, Fierce Warlord, and Suppressive Fire. And then we have a bunch of 3 threes attacking. Which I think gets us the win. So... Wait, I thought it was it. Oh, this and other troops you can draw. Okay, that's pretty good. So, we need a burn, a crushing blow, a ruby resource, something like that next turn. So, let's see if he'll attack with everything. And he's attacking with two things, which. I guess it's pretty good for him, it's just a lethal next turn. Uh, one of our suppressive fires gets through. If he plays no other creatures, then we can lethal him. But, of course, an angel costs five. Okay. Drummenter is not what we want, except uh, we can play it for free, which is good. Hmm. Okay, so we have to survive 10 damage next turn, which means we have to block three of his guys. If we attack with everything, one gets killed. Okay, so we just have to Savage Raider and pass, since we can't survive him swinging again next turn. Which is very unfortunate. We, we still haven't drawn a Ruby resource after a long time. Which is really unfortunate. We're only running like 19 shards, but still. I think it's fairly unlucky. Let's see what he does this turn. There's a diamond shard. I might not have any like creatures or anything. Considering he just dropped the angel and that was it. And okay, he's not going to attack, which is pretty good, I think. And we finally draw a ruby resource. That's pretty good. Okay. So we can empty our hand here, which I think we should do. Fierce Warlord, everything gets pumped up. So I think 
Since Savage Raider has to attack, we'll pump that up so it kills whatever it gets blocked by. And then if we make it so that if we suppress the fire so two things can't block, only three things can block, so if it blocks that, the Savage Raider blocks the Unmerciful Tormentor, and it blocks the Ridge Raider. That means that two things get through, leaving him at six, so he has to block with everything. And almost everything gets killed. Let's see if we swing with everything. Uh, let's say the, oh, the whole park unicorn, though, if it gets sacrificed. The troops can get invincible. So... Do we just pass here? I think we just pass here. And then next turn, if we draw a... Draw like a burn or something, I think we win. Let's see if this gets blocked. Okay, it doesn't get blocked. Which is very interesting. It just pumps up Living Totem, which is fine. If it gets flying, it's like whatever. Hopefully, it doesn't give it. Was it Life Drain? Yeah, life drain. That would be a problem. But it looks like we might be able to win next turn. Let's see what he does. He didn't have anything last turn except for pumping up the living totem, which he did at the end of the turn. So if he doesn't give his living totem life drain when it attacks... Oh, and it doesn't even attack. Okay, well I think we have the lethal. Unless he has some life gain stuff in his hand. Okay, Ruby Shard. At least we can play that to give the uh, Tormentor some stuff. So let's just swing with everything. Living Totem and Angel, I guess. Camp Lock. And uh, Tormentor gets buffed to a 5 5, and we'll just swing with everything. So Living Totem can't block and can't gain him life. He can only block with three things. So I, th I think we win here with, <laughs> with uh, only being stuck on uh, one resource for like a l really large amount of turns. Okay, whatever. Get gave it life drain at the end of the turn. Um, probably... I mean, it is just the AI, but it could have gave, gave it like steadfast and life drain, but... I think we win here. Do a combat damage. And there we go. <laughs> I cannot believe we actually won that game. Stuck at one resource for three or four turns and still winning, so that was pretty cool. We beat the Avenging Angel. And moving on to the third match in the second tier.